Hi everybody, it's Angie with Angie's Place. Um, just let you know, I got a bus in today. Marga Elena, this is actually my second video today. I did a live on Facebook today, so some people have already seen it. Um, anyway, so I'm going to be showing you this box, and we're going to go over it, and you're going to tell me whether you think it's worth it or not. But, before we begin, do me a favor and hit the like button down there, and that will help me out tremendously, and then hit the subscribe button, and you don't have to miss any of them. Because you never know what I'm going to unbox or show on this channel. Um, oh, I also do fellowships. So if you want to join that one, you can join that one too. It's on the same channel. Um, just look for the video. Or the videos. And I do I have to start doing more. Um, I really do. I'll get there. I've been actually doing more. Um, I just had a slight problem with uploading. So, and memory. So we're going to try to do this a little faster. Anyway, this is the Marco Elena box. It is $59.99 a quarter plus $6.95 shipping and handling. So technically around $70. Okay. You get eight items. So each item is on this box. There's eight. That doesn't mean that's all the time, but this box, there's eight items. So they're a little under $10 a piece. Okay. Saying it that way, it actually, it's worth it. I've seen it. It's nice. Um, anyway, but they have limited qual quantities because I think right now they're selling the spring box. But however, when they start giving out the spring boxes, if they have anything left over, because they usually make extra, I'm guessing, um, or somebody unsubscribes or whatever the reason being, they'll send you a letter saying, hey, do you want this box? And you can say yes or no. You don't have to reply. They won't give it to you. You just wait for the spring box. Um, but like I said, it's totally up to you. It is a long wait. Um... But, like I said, I got on it. I, did, I, I was, during the summertime, I was like, you know, there's a big hype over it. I want to see if it's worth it. So, let's get in to the box. Anyway, it was nice and pretty. Now, it's not as pretty as it was, so I'm not going to open the other thing. If you want to see pretty, um, you have to be part of my Facebook. And they do, they wrap everything up very nicely. Okay. The first thing I'm going to show you is... The perfume, it is a very, very light scent. It's pressed, it's Song of Siren, it's Tokyo Milk. And it's got pressed petals, rose water, mandarin, and aquamarine. I think that's $44. Let me make sure, yes, the perfume. This actually sells for $44, <laughs> yes. But I did spray on the back of the card. Let's see what it smells like now. You can definitely smell the petals, so I understand the petals. You don't really smell the mandarin. Um, probably the aqua and the marine, that's probably what I'm smelling. But I do smell the petals. The petals is really, it smells like um, rose petals, really dewy rose petals. Um, it's, a sweet, it's a sweet smell, but it's not glowing. It's not overpowering. It's actually a very light smell. It did get um, a little bit stronger than from when I first actually sprayed it. So that's actually good. Next I'm gonna show you the candle. Lolia number 77. And the candle is something. It's, it's white on a orange background, so I'm having trouble with that. My eyes are going, no, no. Okay, $34. Thought it looked because I was going to tell you it was 20 something. So this is $34. Oops. And it is, it's, it's got a nice scent to it. This one is Perfume Collection Tomorrow. It just says number 77. Okay, well. All right. Mmm. It does smell good. It's a light flowery. It's not rose petals. Um, but it does smell good. It's a clean scent. It's, it's actually a clean scent. So that's really pretty. And then we have, let's see here. This matched the soap. Okay, so I'm going to do these both at one time. Because the smell on them, even though they're two different boxes, they're pretty much the same. 
This one is, the soap is Library of Flowers. It's Field and Flowers, and yes, it does. It does smell like a field of flowers. On the top, it says America's Small Batch Perfume. Oh, okay, it's just talking about the place that makes it. But it is like, it, it's like, um, oh, you know, I just thought about that. Um, like those French little soaps that you get, you know, in the, um, I know Tuesday mornings has them. And usually if you go to like Bell's, either the outlet or the department store, no, I am not naming them. <laughs> but they do, um, around Christmas time, they do have these little soaps and stuff like this is what it smells like is there's little French soaps that you get and the soap itself this is eleven dollars it does have a pretty packaging though remember pretty packaging and we didn't pay that much for it remember we didn't pay that much for all of this and then you have this I was gonna open it but I'm not going to I'm probably giving this one away this one is Genuine floral infusion. I can't really smell it. Let's see. This one is. It does have a. Oh, I didn't show you the inside of the box. See? Really pretty. Pretty packaging. It really is very pretty. And the hand cream is $26. And it does have shea butter. So it's shea butter. And. Like most of, well, most of them are made out of shea butter. Uh, let's see. It is, it is formulated to quickly um, absorb. And this has macadamia nut avocado oils. And they're blended, obviously, very finely because it's a cream. It, it is a cream, guys. And it has aloe and shea butter. Ooh, aloe is really good, too, along with the shea butter. While infusions of coconut blooms, vanilla orchid, and white musk leave the skin feeling delicious. So, coconut and vanilla. I'm going to guess that's going to be the major smells in it. It says flowering willow and lotus. So, there you have it. So, it'll probably have like a coconutty smell to it with, what was that? kind of flower. It says it's willow and lotus, but it had a, see how much I remember thing? Coconut blooms and vanilla orchid, and it's got a white musk. So it's a light musky scent, I'm sure, because the rest of them are very light. Everything so far has been a very light scent. And if you see me on Facebook, you know that I like this one. Very pretty packaging. I absolutely love the packaging. I think that's wonderful. You can see the imprint. There's the sticker back there, and you can see it from the inside with the letterings. Not that anybody can read off of it. You can, I guess, if you lean it like that. You can read off of it. Oh my God, it smells so good. This is the wash. And it smells so good. It really does. So, and this was the hand soap and the body soap. Hand body soap. Body soap, too. And this one is $22. That's pretty decent for this one. And then we have the Tokyo Milk Lip Gloss. Now, this is very nice. I'm going to show it to you. Um, I won't show it to you on my hand again because I did that last time. And it's really, it's just a clear formula. It, it's very pretty. And you'll see me fumbling with it because I didn't know how to open it. And I'm not, oh, there's the camera right there so you guys can see it. And, okay, I'll go ahead and do it. Why not? See, it's a really light. So I'm going to like that one. It's nice. It, it's um, an oily one. So it is. It's gonna, it'll has got. it really keep your lips nice and moist. And I, like, I do like lip gloss, so. I've got so many lip glosses. You don't even know. I have a problem. I need to go to Lip Gloss Anonymous. I see them and I like them. Ooh. Anyway. Okay. Last but not least is the scrub. This one, um, I'm not putting on me again. It, it does leave your hand feeling nice and soft. It's not soft now because it's sticky from the, the gloss. 
<laughs> but any, I guess I could. It'll take it right off, right? I, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't like the smell of this one. That was what it is. Um, I guess it, it wouldn't be. It is, let's see, fine salt. It's honey, sweet fig yields, and remarkable extract. It is very soft. It does have oils in it. It says it's got um, antioxidants, vitamins A, B, and C. So those are all really good for your for your skin. And see, I told you it'll take it right off. It's a nice little scrub. See, I'm going pretty hard at it because I want it to scrub it off. But really, honestly, it's not that bad of a... Um, I need this paper to get off my hand. I should have known to go get something, right? No. Not me. Anyway. So, I really didn't care for the smell of this. Um, you do feel, smell a little bit of, I guess, the, the fig. I'm going to guess it's the fig that I'm smelling. And then greens. Like, if you take leaves and bust them in half, that's really what it's... To me, that's what it smells like. So, that's probably going to be a gift. Sorry, I used two dollops of it. But it probably will be. And, last but not least, is our little card. That you can put in a frame, or you can send as a postcard. As you can tell, this wasn't my favorite part of the box. I would have preferred maybe a notepad. Um, something useful, a journal. But, now we got the pad, and this is $10, I think. No, this is, oh, I'm sorry. I'm totally wrong on which one this is. So, hold on, let me find it again. Let us live like flowers. Okay, let us live like flowers. Yes, this little print is $28. So, if you go to your, their store, this is $28. Okay, honestly, no. Uh-uh. -oh. Take that one out of the equation. <laughs> is it pretty? Yes. Is it on a nice card stack? Yes. It's not my style. Even if it wasn't, I still like paying $28 for it. Okay. But that's okay. And it's not really useful to me. I don't have those colors in my home. So it just wouldn't. But so that makes me have the rest of this. And this. And this. And this. And this. So technically $10 a piece. So is it worth it for $10 a piece? Oh, definitely worth the price. Definitely. Um, for $10 a piece, yeah. You, you definitely have more than your money's worth here. But, um... I would get it for a gift. I think it would make an, a wonderful gift for somebody. Um, if you have a gift that you have to get for your mom or your sister or your wife, this would be a really, really nice gift. And for that, it would be truly amazing. Would I get it for myself? Probably not because I wouldn't use everything in it. So therefore, it's not really useful to me. Um, but as far as anybody, if you use all this stuff all the time, then yes. Um, me, I'm definitely a makeup person, but I already have some makeup subscriptions, which you know if you're watching my channel. Um, but as far as all this goes, it's... Mm, no. But, like I said, it's great for gifts. Anyway, I wanted to see what the hype was all about. Everybody's buying it, and they've got a long wait lift. But I can see it's very, very pretty. And with light scents like this, you can't really go wrong. Because even if the person doesn't like one thing in the box, it's all different. So they might like something else. Anyway, they were nice. And I will see you later. But before you go, don't forget to hit the like button down, the, down below. Yes, it's down below. And the subscribe button, please. That will help me out tremendously to get this all around and start me off because I will get the hang of this someday. <laughs> all right, I'll see you later. See you on the next one. Bye, everybody.